All right, quickly right now here on the bench, I have something new. Actually, it's pretty cool. Um, I've been having incredible pain in my elbow um, area, like my shoulder, elbow, and I'm sure it's from 20 years of swinging a hammer, uh, doing renovations and stuff. But I thought I need something that's going to be able to do some kind of pressure point, pinpoint um, massage. And so I looked up this, and this is a pocket fascia gun. So this is a bit of a new concept for me, but actually it's quite cool. Pocket fascia gun is what they're calling it, and that's pretty much what it is. This is the product model. I'll get a little bit closer as so you can see. This is the product model YD710. Um, the input voltage or current is 5 volts at 2 amps. That's the charging. Uh, then the output is 11.1. That's pretty standard for uh, kind of a 12 volt system. Uh, you can use it in 0 to minus 40 degrees Celsius. I think what they're looking for there is um, probably plus 30 or plus 20 to minus 40. They're showing that it can be used in a cold range. The battery capacity is 2,000 milliamp hours. Um, that's quite good packed into this little package. And product size and weight and all that stuff is there. We'll go through that in a second. Let's get right to it and open this sucker up. It's pretty cool actually. So I've actually been using it. I've, I have it here in the bag. It comes with this sweet little bag. Um, it's kind of a soft, soft kind of bag that um, opens quickly. I'm, I'm going to open that in just a second. Let's get to the other stuff. It comes with a user manual here that's pretty well done. If you speak Chinese, this is for you. Um, I don't. I, I do speak Japanese, but I don't speak Chinese. So let's get to the English side. So it comes in Chinese and English. Um, pack, pocket fascia gun, and we'll just go slowly. Pause the video at any time if you want to read this. Um, the instruction manual is fairly well written. There's a couple little things in there, but you know what? You can get the gist of it. Uh, they're writing in a second language, so kind of bear with them. I think they've done a pretty good job about basic... Uh, operation of this thing. They go through a few things. So that's the user manual in a nutshell. The box itself, I must say, is like one of those boxes you get like expensive cosmetics in. It's, it's quite nice. It's like, it's got a thick wall. It sits together like with an air vacuum and you pull it apart. It's very, if this is a present, it would be a very cool present kind of box to get. Inside the box, the main box, there are two smaller boxes. This one contained the gun itself with um, the carrying bag. So that was that one. And then the second box came and it had the extra tips, the extra plug-in tips for this massage gun. So this is kind of a foam, I know you can't see it in the video maybe, but this is kind of a foam type round ball. And again, if you're into pressure point therapy, this is really effective for finding the right spot to massage and and really get into those knots. There's a kind of a pinpoint single point massage thing. This is hard plastic, as is this uh, two prong massager. Now this would be extremely useful for going down the processes of the spine or alongside a muscle group that you wanted to massage. You know, if you were looking for a, uh, to get on either side of a muscle group and, and really massage the fascia there. So, so those are the three out of four tips. There's actually one more tip that's on the gun. I'll pull that out now. And here is the gun itself with a tip. And now to remove the tip, you simply, I kind of get my finger on there and you simply pull it out. That's it. It's just plug and play literally. This is the tip I've been using. I've been using this thing for about two weeks. The manufacturer uh, or the seller says it runs for about four hours. Now that must be on a level five, the, the, the highest it'll run, because I've been running it for two weeks, I would say almost an hour a day, which is 10 to 12, 14 hours, and it's still going strong. We'll go through the battery um, signal here in a second, but I've been using it quite a bit and it's, it's still going fine. Um, so to plug in a tip, if you want to use a different tip, let's say you want to use this one, you just literally stick it in and push, and there it is, and it's on. So I'll back up, I'll put this, my favorite tip on here. This is kind of a rounded, smooth plastic tip, and I've been using that quite a bit, and it, it's really effective. It has a bit of a broader contact point there, but it's certainly very effective um, for what I want to do. Um, the unit itself is very slick, it's very heavy, I mean it feels heavier than it looks. Um, that's actually a good thing because you want the weight when you're massaging. You don't want this thing to vibrate. You want the vibration end to vibrate and it works quite well from that standpoint. It's completely sealed. I've tried to open it as I do with all toys I get. I, I can't. There's no way to open this. So it's a sealed unit. Um, there is no maintenance to it. 
Uh, that can either be a drawback or an asset, I don't know. Uh, that's up to you. It says, oh Josh on here. So somebody must have had a friend named Josh, I, I guess. I, I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, um, the this is the operations end of it. Uh, I guess you'd call that the bottom. And it's the only input and buttons section you have. So a single press of the button does nothing. You can see some lights flash up there. Um, there's a USB-C type adapter that it charges with. Um, and it actually comes with a charge cord as well. So you're set to go. Um, you simply plug that in like so. And then you can take the other end and plug that into any USB 5 volt output. Uh, that would be like your laptop. Um, anything like that would charge this thing nicely. So it charges in about four, four and a half hours, I think. Um, so let's go back to the operation of this thing. You've got one, two, three, four buttons. Now, when you first power it on, you hold this down, and it's called a long press. So a long press will activate it. And you can see there, it's actually vibrating. If I put it on my hand. And you can clearly see on the top, there's we are level one. Now the green light is flashing twice. No, it's flashing three times. So the three time indication means that the battery is near full capacity. Um, three flashes is near full capacity. Two flashes is right around half. One flash says it's getting a little bit low, maybe time to charge it up. So from this point, you're simply going to press it once and it'll advance to two blue buttons. And now we're on level two. I don't know if you can pick up in the video, but that's definitely sped up slightly. And then we go to level three and level four. And there's one final level, which is a variable letter level. So it'll go slow and then speed up. And it's it's quite hard. Like it, it, if I'm pushing as hard as I want there, I can't stop it. And it's slowed down because it's in that variable mode. So then we push it one more time and we're back to level one. So it, it does a it does a fine job in massaging and I'll pull up my forearm here and show you how I was I, you, you literally you look for the muscle and you find the muscle that hurts and you kind of massage into it and it it's incredible now one kind of word of, I'll turn this off for a second it's a long press to turn it off and it'll go dead um, one word of caution with this if you put it on a bone process uh, any bony structure or like your spine for example or your head or as we found out the hard way your forehead um, it bounces off the bone and it's it's actually most uncomfortable. You, you really don't want to do that. And I, I think they actually touch on that in the instructions there. So, Okay, so that was that. I guess there's always, you know, the fun component. But, you know, really, if you're looking for a small massaging device, and I've got a few. I've got the electrical stimulation devices. I've got a few other things. This thing really does the trick. And you know what I like about it? In the little carrying bag, we just got back from holidays actually, I carried it in this little bag, it's gone, it disappears, it's easy to store, and you can use it literally wherever you are. You can fire it up and you can literally work on a muscle group wherever you are. And I used it quite a bit in the hotel room when we were at night after a long day of skiing. And you can really find those muscles and massage those sore points out. So. Let's quickly go over the weight and measurements of this thing. So if I set it here on my scale, you'll see it quickly goes to 484 grams. So it's not light. For its size, it's definitely heavy. It's packing a 2000 milliamp battery in there and an electric motor plus a whole bunch of other kind of infrastructure. So yeah, it's not light, but again, you want that weight to be able to give a good massage. As far as size, um, basic sizes go, it's about five and three eighths inches long. Um, the barrel shaft itself is about an inch and three quarters. Um, this kind of T bracket here is around four inches. So th that'll give you kind of a, an idea of how big this thing is in reality. So that's it in a nutshell for the um, pocket fascia gun. You know, I was looking on Amazon there and I noticed there were a couple of reviews that gave this thing one star. Um, when, I, when I looked deeper at that before I bought this, um, I noticed that those reviews, I don't know what their political motivation was there, but they clearly didn't actually look at it or review it. Um, not sure what was going on there. There might have been some, some sort of play behind the scenes there. But this thing is definitely a five star all the way around. It's, it's high quality. It looks great. 
uh, ergonomic and it really does the job as far as a massager so if you're looking for something like this this is a great choice especially for the money I don't think you can really go wrong so all right hope you enjoyed the review we'll catch you next time